Intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy, or ICP, is the most common liver disease during pregnancy, affecting 1.5% of all pregnancies here in Sweden. ICP is characterized by otherwise unexplained pruritus with elevated bilases and or transaminases in the late second and third trimester of pregnancy. It is well established that ICP is associated with risk for the unborn child, in particular preterm delivery, but unfortunately also stillbirth, at least in the severe form. In contrast, for the mother, ICP has a long time only been considered as an annoying but not serious condition that spontaneously results after delivery. However, ICP obviously is not such a benign condition for the mother. We have recently shown that women with ICP have with three to five times increased risk of hepatobiliar diseases such as hepatitis C, gallstones and cirrhosis. And we found that this increased risk was both before and after the diagnosis of ICP. In addition, ICP is associated with a threefold increased risk of gestational diabetes and preeclampsia, both of which are considered as cardiovascular risk factors. Here we extended our population-based study to investigate the association between ICP and later cancer, diabetes mellitus and other autoimmune diseases and cardiovascular diseases. Our study, which included in total more than 125,000 pregnancies, showed that women with ICP were at about 25% increased risk for later immune-mediated diseases, in particular diabetes mellitus and Crohn's disease, but not ulcerative colitis. There was also a small increased risk of later cardiovascular disease, in particular if the mother with ICP also suffered from preeclampsia. Most important were the data on later malignancy. Also there was no overall increase of, increased risk of cancer or of major cancer types such as colorectal, lung, breast or genital cancers. We found a 2.5 times higher risk for cancer in the biliary tree and even a 3.5 times increased risk for later liver cancer. Even after adjusting for a diagnosis of chronic hepatitis C, which is very strongly associated with later liver cancer, women with ICP were still at 2.5 times increased risk of later liver malignancy. Thus, the increased risk of later liver and biliary tree cancer in women with ICP strengthens our earlier findings of a high risk of later hepatobiliary disease. This holds true in particular for chronic hepatitis C, which causes liver cirrhosis and hepatocellular cancer, and also for gallstone disease and chronic cholangitis, which are associated with gallbladder and cholangiocellular cancer. What conclusions can be drawn from these findings? First of all, we again strongly advocate testing pregnant women with pruritus for hepatitis C and of course treatment after delivery if they were tested positive. Then we also strongly recommend a follow-up of liver function tests about 6 to 12 weeks after delivery in all women diagnosed with ICP with and without pruritus. And if liver enzymes are elevated, further evaluation by a hepatologist.